Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. What do I have? No, leave me alone. Okay, let me see here. Journal. Okay, well, let me go talk to Edie and see uh, if there's any word on this uh, so, IFF Adler, thing. How are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. Kick some ass. <laughs> still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's all for now. Logging okay. Shepard. Well, I need to. Um, what? What's the point of opening the airlock? There's nothing there. I need to figure out where this Geth is. That's my thing. That's what I need to figure out. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. It said it right here. It probably said that the whole time. But I'm glad I did the Tolly thing, because that was actually a really good mission. That was a very good mission. No. Oh, this is out here. Together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Is it gonna be right here? No, there's Garrus. Hmm. Server room? Maybe that. I think it said it, but I wasn't paying attention. Aha, there we go. Hi there, buddy. Ted Hunt! I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Hi, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Every Geth I met before you tried to blow my head off. We have not met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics asked the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines hardware to protect our future. So you aren't alive with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Whoa. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. 
We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We integrate <laughs> exchange of data. <laughs> His name's Legion! That's cool, man! I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. <laughs> oh, man. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. Oh, cool. I don't think I've actually collected anything where he could, uh... Nah, I don't think so. I think I go to him for, like, very specific Geth. Oh, yeah, see, Geth Sniper. Oh, I see. I don't have enough. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see. Well, that makes sense. Planning suspended. Topic. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Well, that's cool. Plus two renegade. <laughs> so, now that we've done that, can we go back to Edie and say what's up? I guess go back up to the, the regular, regular, uh, main the cockpit of the ship. Talk to Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. My already are. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Hmm. <laughs> Cool beans. It is kind of interesting to hear about her. Sounds like her father was a crazy guy. Well, 
not necessarily crazy, but, uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go here and see if the, uh, the IFF is done. And if it's not, we'll go ahead and do another side mission while we wait. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Shut up! Leave me alone. Oh, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Crew is still working to get the Reaper oh. installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. Is there anything else I can no. do? That's all for now. No, what do I have to do? Okay, well, I guess we do have to just keep going and keep going and <laughs> keep doing these side missions. Uh, let's go ahead and do Samara. Let's hear about the sex murdering daughter she has. <laughs> that would suck. What a way to go, though. What a way to go. Okay, migrant fleet. Don't really need it. So where? Tomorrow. Ah, I got me some water. Well, what's left of my water? I, you know, I don't know if a lot of you guys use this stuff, but I use a Mio. Mio and anything else, crystal light, that sort of thing. Just like flavor, water flavors, fla flavoring, I guess. Uh, I love this stuff. A lot of people don't care for it much, but I, I really do like it. Fazar. <laughs> Help Samar, here we go. I wasn't paying attention. Enter orbit. Look at that thing. Omega. Wait, what? Really? Huh. Because we've been here before. I remember this. At least I think so. It's cool it's built into the side of a meteor. Or an, would it be an asteroid? Yeah, it'd be an asteroid. Meteor is like in Earth's orbit. And meteorite is the thing that lands on the ground. Good, good, good. Yeah, so asteroids the big chunk in the sky or in in the sky, I guess, in space. It's really cool. Built it into the side. It was in a couple of years. Like 2018 or 2016 or something. Or maybe it's 2020, I don't know. Uh, NASA was talking about uh, launching uh, a probe and scanning um, scanning an asteroid out in space as it came by Earth. Okay, so let's get Samara, and I actually want to get Legion. I want to see how he is. I think it'd be a cool team. Different, but, but kind of cool. Okay, not enough. Legion. Oh, he's so badass. Look at that. And Samara. It's just, for some reason, her facial texture just looks so much nicer than everyone else's. Like, his is okay. I mean, he's a geth, so it's whatever, but like... For some reason, her face just looks really nice. I, I just don't know another—I don't know another way to put it. it. Just looks really nice. Uh, Paragon, not all the way up yet. Hopefully, before the end of the game, we hit full level Paragon status. Omega is too high for me to pinpoint an Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Okay, so talk to Arya, the Afterlife Club. Okay. Was it in this game that we came here? Or was it the the first? No, it was this game. It was one of the first missions we did here. I remember that. Oh, it was when we were looking for Garrus. It was Garrus was here, wasn't he? I think. I don't remember. I don't remember, but I think it was when we were first meeting Garrus. Or finding Garrus again. There might have been another person here as well. Morden, I think. Morden was here too. That's right, I made fun of these strippers. <laughs> Jizz. Or Grizz. <laughs> hey, Arya. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Oh, this is another mission. Interesting. 
Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Hmm. Interesting. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, so where are we going? Give me a map. Apartments, probably. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Let me check the journal. Double check. Go to apartment. Yep. So if we head out of here. Lower afterlife. Oh, I just go to the entrance. Okay. That worked too. Arya has work for you. Here? No, shut up. I'm doing my own stuff. I never know which pair of eyes to look at. <laughs> Must be talking about those, uh, the one aliens that have like six eyes or whatever. These guys. Yeah, they have four eyes. <laughs> Come on, let me in. Transport, uh, apartments. Cool. That's right. We we got uh Morden here. Morden, the the fast talking guy. Yeah. We got him here. Remember that. I need the apartments. Where are I? Where, where are I? Wow. Wow, English much, man. Where are I? I think this should be... Wait. Wait, what? Personal quarters, okay. So I'm really, like, lost. Wait, can I interact with this? Oh, that's... Uh-oh. Why the fuck can I do this? This is so stupid. Now, like, now I'm stuck on here and I can't get down. That's so stupid. That. Uh... Which one has more time? This one. It's so dumb. Why does it let me do that? I guess I have to go below, below ground. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just frustrated with the stupid clipping. Oops, uh, journal. Find the apartment. Is that Shepard? Shepard's supposed to be dead. Apartments and marketplace. Okay, I guess. I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. Just don't step on that thing again. Let me go in here and talk to this lady. See if this has anything to do with it. Are you here about my daughter? Ah. My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too. 
and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Woo! Okay. What? Her room? There was nothing. No lady. <laughs> Read the newest. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for Securus, and... I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Just don't, don't put your dick in her. That's, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. <laughs>